Hey, good morning guys. It's about 425 in the morning waiting outside the gym. Mountainside Fitness, my favorite gym. Big shout out to Mountainside. Hey guys, uh, but today's a daily JV. We're gonna take you through my day step by step and really show you the tools and techniques it takes to reach massive success and take a number one motivational brand to the top. So we're gonna show you brick by brick how we build this business. But it's very important as you're growing to success that you have fitness in your life. You're moving, you're keeping your body fresh, and you're keeping your health in order. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. We'll check in uh, as we're editing Royds to Riches today. Talk to you soon, guys. Thank you, have a great day. Hey, what's up, guys? Now it's about six o'clock in the morning. I'm looking at the clock here. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, today's daily JV is gonna be more around health. I wanna show you my health regimen. So, showed you uh, outside the gym, wake up at 3.52 every morning, uh, hit the gym workout, we do uh, weights, and then we do cardiovascular exercise. Then I come into the sauna and steam room, and I do my meditations and prayers. So we'll check back in with you when we're uh, back in the office. Talk to you soon, guys. All right, guys, we're back at the JV Impacts Compound. Today is gonna be all about health. So throughout the JV Impacts vlogs daily, we're gonna take you through different journeys. Yesterday was all about business, and to be honest with you, today isn't super exciting when it comes to the business. I'm gonna be editing all day Roids to Riches to make sure we can get that done as soon as possible. I talked about that all day yesterday, but that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So not a super exciting day. Exciting for me, because the book is gonna be out soon, but today I wanna take you through a journey of my health regimen. So in the morning, I get up at 3.52 every single morning. Now why do I wake up so early to go to the gym? Number one, I like to get started very, very early. Number two, I like to work out when my family's asleep so it doesn't affect the family time. So what do I do right before I go to the gym to get my energy rocking and rolling? So what I use is I use this coffee here. I use Igniter Coffee, it's from Fry's. It has two times the caffeine. I also put 15 mLs of MCT oil into my coffee and I use Onnit Alpha Brain. So what this does is it creates uh, great fats for my brain, my brain fuel. Alpha Brain is a nootropic. It helps with your brain function and keeps you um, aware, alert, and ready to go. And then the coffee gives me energy. So that's my pre-workout, right? I like to keep things natural. Uh, I don't like to use a lot of stimulants, but the coffee has quite a bit of caffeine, so be careful if you use that igniter coffee. All right, so that's how I get kicked off before I go to my workout. Then when I come home, um, I make sure that I take kelp. So kelp helps with your thyroid. It's a natural way to help your thyroid. Omega-3 fatty acids, so every single day we've got to take our omega-3 fatty acids, my wife and I do that. And then I take 10 drops of vitamin D, so I take a lot of vitamin D, very, very important for uh, your, skeletal, uh, your skeletal bones, your muscles, vitamin D is just absolutely amazing. You get it from the sun, but I always take extra vitamin D. I want to give you a tip too around alkaline water. I'm a big fan of alkaline water, but I want to give you a tip, right? This is $2.99 at the store. If you go to water and ice, you can get alkaline water for 99 cents, and it's amazing. And when you do alkaline water at uh, water and ice, what happens is they put it in there and it stays oxygenated. It's more, it's fresh, not more fresh, it's fresh. And so it's a little bit better. So, I wanted to share with you guys, we started our ketosis plan three days ago. This is going into day four of ketosis. Uh, I've lost about 4.8 pounds, just water weight though. You're starting to see a little bit of film coming off of me. Uh, you won't start to see really true conditioning for the next four weeks. So, uh, I'll check in with you guys in just a moment. Thank you guys. Hey, what's up guys? It is now almost 11 o'clock. We're going to eat really quickly. Uh, today is all about health. This is called a tuna melt. Uh, so it has tomatoes, it has tuna, a slice of cheese, some bell peppers. Uh, it has zero carbohydrates. My wife just made that, so she is amazing at helping us with the uh, keto plan that we're on. Uh, like I shared with you guys, we're intermittent fasting every single day. So we push it till 11 o'clock today, but we're really hungry. Uh, we're going into day four of ketosis. And you start to get a little shaky as your body gets used to it. So I'll check back in with you guys at my next meal. Uh, like I said, just editing Royds to Riches Day. Nothing really too exciting about business, but we'll check in with you guys at our next meal. Hey, what's up guys? It's about one o'clock, two hours later. I mean, spacing my meals two hours apart. As I said, we're doing ketosis and intermittent fasting. But remember, always consult your physician or get another opinion. So this is what I do, personally do, and my wife do for our personal health journey. So here's my meal coming up right now. So I'm gonna do actually two scoops of isopure. I need to get 50 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of MCT oil, which will give me 14 grams of fat. So that's gonna give me my protein and fats that I need with almost zero carbohydrates. So we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Thank you for watching.
Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to check in really quickly. Got a little bit of time. So the beautiful thing about uh, taking charge of your life, being your own boss, is I get to go pick up my kids from school now. So exciting. So I'm waiting to pick up my daughter. But wanted to come to you guys with a quick fitness tip out there. So if you listen to my podcast, it's going to be linked up right here. I talk about high intensity interval training. I personally feel it's one of the best ways to do cardiovascular exercise. It gets your heart rate up, gets your heart rate down, and you have to do less cardio, but it's more intense, and it turns your body into a fat-burning machine all day. So listen to one of my podcasts. It's called Hit Cardio. You can listen to all my podcasts. They're all amazing. They'll motivate you and get you excited. But Hit Cardio is very, very important. So high-intensity interval training. Just look it up. Do your research. Uh, don't make me your expert. Become your own guru out there. So just uh, wanted to come to you guys. Had a little bit of time. Give you some advice. We'll talk to you in a bit, guys. About 5.40 uh, let's see, 5.45 now, it's getting a little bit later in the evening. It's dinner time, it's been a tough day today, guys. Just to be honest with you and transparent, as we always do at JV Impacts, our son got really sick, so it's been a, a blessing, and I'll tell you what the blessing is, is the fact that I took control of my life, and my, I'm my own boss now. So we were able to both work together to take care of our son. My wife was able to get him over to the doctor. Uh, he's not feeling too well, but we still stayed on our ketosis plan, we still stayed focused, uh, but we worked together as a team, which was fantastic. But it's been a tough day. So when your stress levels get high, you gotta make sure you keep your uh, nutrition in check. So here's our dinner. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. These are ultra low carb bell peppers. So it was quick, it was easy. We needed something quick and easy because of the situation today. I was cheap, quick and easy. So I'm gonna put the link in the description for the YouTube video so you can have the exact recipe that we followed to do that. So dieting doesn't have to be tough. Um, it can be tough when you first start, but there's fun ways that you can do it. So in a couple hours, I'm gonna come to you with a video uh, that talks to you about three easy tips to get you in shape before the holidays. So don't wait till January to kick in your New Year's resolutions. We're gonna start now. So we'll talk to you in a bit, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the day of Health Thursday, which was absolutely crazy. <laughs> Being honest and transparent, today sucked, guys. It was a sh crappy day. Our son was super sick. It's just been a frustrating day. You guys all know the parents out there, or even having a brother or sister, or you being sick, right? It can be very stressful and frustrating. But we kept our nutrition on track, and I'm going to celebrate that. We want to celebrate the small successes. Our son ended up getting really, really sick, but the beautiful thing about it is we were able to get him to the doctor, and we worked together as a team. That's why I put my Superman shirt on, is because I ended up doing the dishes. I did all the things that my wife usually steps up and does. We have our roles within the house you know I do got cleaning uh, she does the dishes so I stepped up and did all that stuff because it was time for me to step in when our son needed her you know when when our son is sick obviously he wants his mom so that was a, it was a tough day guys it was a really tough day but we we're able to keep our diet on track and I want to talk about that and give you three tips uh, before the holidays to get yourself in shape so you can enjoy your holidays all right guys so number one tip is drink one gallon of water a day just try it. Just If you want to just change one thing, like my podcast says, the water podcast, just drink a gallon of water a day. See what happens. Eliminate soda, sugary drinks, sugary iced tea, whatever you drink, replace it with a gallon of water a day. Keep, your, keep eating McDonald's. Do whatever you want. Just replace it with a gallon of water a day and get rid of all your sugary drinks, your energy drinks, and just drink black coffee and see what happens. Just try it. Test me. Watch, watch this podcast or listen to the podcast. Listen to the water one. Watch what happens. Number two. Number two. Hit cardio and weight training. So if you're don't not on a weight training program right now or you've never lifted weights before, consult a trainer or a professional. Uh, but resistance training and women, this, this goes to you, you're not going to get huge if you start training with weights. What happens is when you lift weights, it builds lean muscle mass and it speeds up your metabolism. So if you start doing curls as a lady, you're not going to blow up and be this huge muscle bound person. You're just going to build lean muscle that's going to give you that nice tone that's going to speed up your metabolism. I recommend high intensity interval training cardio. It creates you into a fat burning machine. So after you hit cardio, your fat is burn is melting off you all day because it increases your metabolism. Uh, it's much more effective and you can do it in a shorter amount of time. So you can be in and out in the gym. Number three, lower your carb intake guys. Lower the sugary foods. I mean, this is, I know I'm preaching to the choir. You guys all know this. Stop eating the cakes, the cookies, all that stuff that really just sits in your system and is not used as energy and it stores in your fat stores. So number one, drink a gallon of water 
start resistance training doing hit cardio and then lower your carbohydrate intake but i always recommend if you lower your carbohydrates like me and my wife are doing the ketosis plan is bring in fats guys you have to have an energy source i'm doing almost 170 grams of fat a day now these are good healthy fats that give me energy so you guys saw some of the stuff that i'm doing so i hope you like this guys what we're going to do is uh, we're learning and growing as we build this number one international motivational brand and what i'll be doing is i'll be taking you through motivation health and life so yesterday we went through life that was business all business you know meeting with clients all the different successes out there today was all about health and then one day i'll mix up health business and life and it'll be a lot of fun so i'm going to take you on a journey uh, throughout the weeks through the daily jv vlogs i appreciate you guys so much i want to say thank you so much for the podcast though guys wow we're in bunch of different countries now all over the United States and we are working to be the number one motivational brand and you're a huge part of that but you can still help us by sending this podcast right up here to a friend there's all kinds of podcasts that'll get you motivated there's ones about health uh, inspiration whatever you want I love you guys I hope you have a great evening and we will talk to you tomorrow on fired up Friday <laughs>